were just going back and forth. I'm not even playing the game. I'm just sitting there. And yeah. what I did is I personally put my, and, and you could do what, again, you know, this is just what I'm doing. I'm not suggesting anybody do anything. But what I did is when I took the profit, I actually put it in USD. I didn't put it in stable coin because there's too many weird things happening. Yeah, now you can't, you may not be able to do that, people. You'll serve yachts. You'll serve yachts. You'll serve yachts. If you had to pick just three coins, what would they be? And like, if you had to sit on them and you know wait for them to jump up and then sell them. Like, and this is this just the is top not, three coins. This is not financial advice. All right, you're talking to whoa, dude. You're just gonna fly by the seat of your pants. Um, XRP, XLM, and I really think that for the biggest runs. I gotta say Bitcoin Cash. Bitcoin Cash. Yeah. To take profit. See, a lot of people should have taken just sure. your profit. You could have stayed in the game. Just secure some profit. That's the biggest thing going forward. When this happens, Jesus, secure some of it. All right? And then, then you don't feel that bad. Whatever is going to happen will affect pretty much every crypto. That's yeah. my bet. Mm -hmm. The only thing that I did a month and a half ago, I think it was a month and a half ago, I sold all my ADA. I sold every bit of it. And I put it into XLM when it when it had that major drop. And I got it like at, I think, seven cents. I had it long. I had it long. I had it long. I sold all my ADA. I sold every bit of it. And I put it into XLM when it when it had that major drop and I got it like at I think seven cents. Okay, so obviously when we had this this hit, I went, that was a great move. Sit that you will see. Sit that you will see. Sit that you will see. All right, follow me. I got I got a special path for you. Yeah. For you older guys that can't climb too well. Huh? Either that, I'll just say take good pitches, all right? Yeah, <laughs> fair enough. <laughs> I know my limitations. <laughs> Holding my body up uh, like this. Yeah, I don't think so, dude. <laughs> yep. It sounds like fun, though, for you. Because if he had stayed in, Remember those cities that were just. Oh, uh, yeah. I would have been a little mini civil well, war. What would have happened? That's what would have happened. Yep. And I really think that they're trying to do it in a way to keep a lid and control that no matter who you are, that you can say, go, yeah, we really do have a problem here. Well, yes, let me add. Well, yes, let me add. Oh, yes, yeah, I know for the longest time I was thinking aliens, blue heads, you know, and, and then I think it was like two years after I had that that channel, that was during a channel uh, that I was channeling the council, that I got that information and I was taken off guard on, you know, you know? 
But um, then it came in clarity what they were really showing me were blue helmets. And they are Pfizer, you smell so weak. And they are Pfizer, you smell so weak. And they are Pfizer, you smell so weak. It has to happen the way it is. And it has to get so disgusting that I don't give a shit if you're a Republican, Democrat, or an independent. It doesn't matter. When it gets so disgusting that you just say, this is so wrong. Well, that has to happen. Because if he had stayed in, remember those cities that were just... Oh, that, yeah. I mean, it would have been a little mini-civil war. What would have happened? That's what would have happened. It's interesting. It really is. You know, it's a crazy time. But on the other hand, you know, the funny part of it is none of us get out of here alive. So get over that shit. Shine the void, Eagles. Shine the void, Eagles. You know, when people are losing a fortune and this and that, it's the stupid shit that makes everybody laugh. And 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 that's what people need to do. Yeah. And yeah, it's got to play out in a way that's not going to be too fun for for most of us. But of the summer, of the summer, of the summer. Well, remember when people would always ask, "Do you think he's coming back? Do you think he's coming back?" And you would always say, "I'm not changing what Spirit told me." Right. He said he never left. Right. And again, if you look back at some of those executive orders, they'll be hitting. They'll be hitting. They'll be hitting. Um, and I remember Entheos was like, you know. God bless Space Force. Like, God, those guys, that whole thing is, thank God for Space Force. But he would never, that's all he would say. Gifts are fogging it. Gifts are fogging it. Gifts are fogging it. So, um, and I remember Entheos was like, you know, God bless Space Force. Like, God, those guys, that whole thing is, thank God for Space Force. But he would never, that's all he would say. Well, why? We need to thank God for why. What are they doing? What He won't say. From Canada, especially in other areas, but especially Canada, that affected even as far down as you, I think, for a little bit. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. We've had smoke coming through here. Yeah. Yeah. And again, they're looking at the timing and go, wow, these fires, you know, almost appear to be done simultaneously in, you know, this huge area of Canada. That's not normal. You know, you, you would have one fire start and it would spread, not that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, like all at the same time. And they thought that was strange. So we've got those two things already, you know, and, um, you know, you called that way in advance. So I guess to answer the question, are they done? The answer is no. First, I have video by law. First, I have video by law. First, I have video by law.